So this is it. This is the new Wasfire flashlight which just came to me this morning. So let's review it, test it and see how bright this thing can really get. Welcome back. So welcome back. So this is the Wasfire and this is one of the latest flashlights. It's called the VAF08. And this one's really looking different as well. I have made some videos for Wasfire in the past and their flashlights used to look like any other flashlight which you get online. But this one looks really nice. I like the way they've actually integrated this text inside. The build quality is solid. Look at the tactile finish. It's solid aluminum. And this time they've actually gone ahead for some pretty much, you know, sharper edges. And uh, it really makes the torch look really, really strong and more like a weapon, but it's a nice little flashlight. So uh, high power LED in the front, right up front over there. So that's about 12,000 lumen, which they claim. There's also uh, multiple modes in it, of course. Uh, we'll come to that a little later. There's a side light and uh, it, it all works with this one single power button, which is a multifunction button. There are two USB uh, ports over here. USB-C, of course, to charge this flashlight. And there's a USB-A output. 10,000 mAh battery inside, covered with this uh, little rare cap over here. Again, solid aluminum, well, well milled. And you know, it's, it's all uh, sealed. This battery is just one piece. So apparently two units over there. I think uh, this is much bigger than the 1860 battery. So uh, backup time is pretty good. And uh, they claim 12, uh, 12 hours on the low power mode. And if you put it on the high power mode, which is about 12,000 lumen, it will last you for about eight hours, which is really nice. The strobe function will make the light last for about uh, 18 hours. And if you put it on SOS mode, it will last you for about 24 hours, which is really, really nice. Also, one of the other things about this light is this display here. So I'll, I'll put that on in a second. There's also uh, at the back, there's a glass breaker tool. So if you're using this in your vehicle or in your house and you want to get out of uh, an emergency situation, you want to break glass, this is a pretty useful device. It's covered with this nice little red rubber cover. So let's put that back. There's also a carrying belt which they give you and there's a Type-C charging cable, Type-A to Type-C. Uh, unfortunately, the packaging uh, was pretty bashed up badly. You know, it was, uh, it was almost like in bits and pieces but there was not a single scratch on this except for probably this uh, belt clip which got slightly bent other than that there's no other visible damage on this particular flashlight shows you the belt quality is pretty heavy in terms of overall weight this flashlight will weigh about 540 grams so it's not too heavy not too light uh, it's also got this nice rubber flap covering this usb port so let, let's put that back and of course uh, there's a decent amount of zoom available for you to focus that flashlight also the led display over here will also show you the output it's actually throwing out so let's say you're charging a flashlight it'll actually show you how much uh, output is remaining even when it's uh, sending out power so that's a nice function too and uh, of course the accessory belt where they've given you a full size uh, sling belt so you have an option to you know uh, lock it over here as well as the front of the flashlight over here so uh, it's going to like really be easy to carry this uh, during your trips. I think it's perfect size and the best accessories they're given this time around. I, I really like this. So let me show you the function button over here. So this is a single power button, multi-function button and the display. So the light's actually on now. It's, it's in the 12,000 uh, lumen mode and you can see it shows the battery capacity right now. It's at about 67%, which is really nice. And also the button itself is uh, uh, green colored and I think it's uh, fantastic. It looks really good in the dark. And of course, uh, since I told you it's a single button option, so now it's uh, going to switch off if you keep it on for a long time. But if you, let's say, put it on for 12,000 lumen, and then uh, let's say I bring it down a notch. So this is about 5,000 lumen. And in this mode, the flashlight will last you for about 12 hours. It goes up rather. And uh, the next mode is of course the strobe mode. So this is the strobe mode, and uh, this will last you for about 18 hours the claim and of course the SOS option which will last you for about 24 hours so pretty decent good backup time and the 10,000 mAh power bank is pretty useful if you want to charge your mobile device for example you do get a notification when you're charging the device it says in which means current passing into the flashlight and let me just put the other mode on there's also a side light yeah so if you're using this for camping purposes this could be pretty useful light and this is a, a nice soft white light that's also dimmable 
and of course you can change it to red and there's a beacon mode wherein it just starts flashing the red in strobe effect again the display is nice usually they have those blue led dots that's been replaced with this display and also the size a nice comfortable size to hold on to and i think this is really nice perfect kind of a size for you it fits in your palm very easily you know what they also throw in a small little uv torch along with this it's got a nice little function button micro usb charging port unfortunately it's not usb-c but this is actually given to you along with this particular flashlight that actually lets you uh, kind of find stains of any kind pet urine for example so if you want to uh, kind of check that out you see that actually glows under uv light so just keep that in mind pretty handy device quick check on your uh, zoom here so this is fully zoomed out and then when you zoom in, this is the beam I get. It is still a square pattern, but you'll notice that uh, the amount of gaps between those four squares have reduced as compared to the previous flashlights. Really nice to see that they've used some advanced LED, I would say, uh, as compared to the previous ones. So this one's uh, really cool. This belt clip, I think is really awesome. Look at the way this actually stays on the side of your shoulder and uh, pretty convenient to carry. And uh, the belt is of the right size holds the flashlight really well. Time for some real world testing. Now I have walked into the woods and I found a place which could really help me test this flashlight. So uh, appreciate it if you give me a sub or a like on this video. Anyway, let's uh, check out the flashlight. It's very simple to use and the button's very easy to find in the dark. And you can see that uh, the intensity is quite strong. So you do get a beam path. Especially if there's a little bit of fog or mist in the air, you can actually see the beam right through. Uh, and that's a good feeling and you do get a lot of confidence using this in the dark. So as you can see, this is a shot from a little distance to show you the actual throw of the light. It's pretty powerful. Is it 12,000 lumen? I don't know, but the light is powerful and I can tell you that, you know, this can really blind you if you actually look into it directly. So you have to be really careful using this one. Do share your thoughts on how you feel this flashlight is performing. I know the camera will not justify the amount of light uh, it's actually showing here. But honestly, there is a lot of light output and there is a lot of brightness. I actually think this is how it actually looked in real. And you know, there is a lot of light output from this particular flashlight. That's for sure. Last thing, you know, this belt clip which they've given you to carry this flashlight, I mean, that really makes things a little more convenient, I feel. I mean, I just strap it on my shoulder and it's very easy to handle it or just leave it on as it is. And you know, you, you don't have a risk of actually dropping this and you actually have your hands free to do something else. So uh, in terms of uh, brightness and in terms of uh, versatility, this is really good. And you can see it's actually throwing out quite a lot of light. I think it'll easily do about 400 to 500 feet for sure. You know, the best part about this flashlight is in the past I've seen that uh, some of the flashlights usually get really warm when you use it continuously, but this one actually remained cool. So I, I think they've improved on their uh, cooling as well for the LED up front. So it doesn't get really hot except for the you know lens in front, but the entire flashlight was was quite reasonably warm not getting hot at all so i really like this and this is uh, really cool and you also notice that uh, the led uh, design has changed which means in the past you would see four blocks uh, you know very prominent but now it's kind of fused together so there's hardly any gap between those four blocks of lights I mean, that's something you'll be familiar if you have seen other flashlights in this category. And uh, I'll leave links in the description as and when I get hold of them. This is a new release product. So let's wait for it and I will share the details in the description. That makes more sense. I'm not actually being biased. If it's not good, it's not good. So this one's a really good flashlight. So uh, again, thanks so much for watching Artek. I shall see you on the next video.